I want to thank everyone for celebrating today and I'd like to introduce uh, our first speaker. Uh, she doesn't need much introduction um, <laughs> and uh, we want to thank her first and foremost uh, for her strong and incredible advocacy for our community. Congresswoman uh, Alexandria. organizers and advocates and all of you that are here in this room, you know, uh, just a few weeks ago, we, uh, I was sitting on the Financial Services Committee in D.C., and we had a hearing on housing and federal housing policy, and, you know, we were, we really wanted to draw the stories from the district to illustrate what the housing crisis looks like in the United States, what it looks like in New York City today. And uh, we had this really incredible moment where we had the nation's foremost housing experts and we, we communicated right here with mm -hmm. this office. And the, the, you all were able to provide stories to us of, uh, of an unfortunate situation where a landlord was, was abusing um, a family's immigration status to try to pull out more money from them, almost an extortion. And right there in, on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., we were able to commit that, commit that testimony and commit that story and ask about it uh, to the nation's foremost experts, commit that story to the congressional record. And what we found were um, some additional tools that we could use to help improve the lives of families here. And the reason I tell that story is to say that Every single step of advocacy is necessary and critical in order for our communities to thrive. From the individual family to the, the mother or the father or the child that had the courage to stand up and to say, hey, you know, I'm, my family's undocumented, my, my dad or my mother's undocumented, but we deserve dignity too. And they had that courage to go, they were their family advocate to go and connect here. And then to, for, for all of our organizers here in this community to hold these stories, to know what's going on, to stay in touch, to be responsive, to care, so that when we try to be those advocates down in D.C., we connect here and all of those stories are present and they're ready to be told and they're fresh and prepared for change and that our system is bright for change. So I'm just proud to be part of this community. And um, you know we just moved in a couple blocks down, so we, we <laughs> got <laughs> and, um, what I think is so lovely is that we're really generating a beautiful ecosystem mm -hmm. of advocacy here in Jackson Heights, where the congressional office is here, we have city council offices here. Now we have this space uh, for communities to convene. So this is just a you know stop and shop if you <laughs> in order to improve our lives. I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it, and I'm glad to be part of such a thriving community where we're all just excited to figure out what language to learn. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.